Greetings everyone. Welcome to video 6. Now before we start this video, I hope you have seen our first 5 episodes and have understood about equity markets and its foundation. Today we are going to practically revise operations that is order executions. In the previous lesson, we learnt about long position, short position, intraday, delivery, margin and whatnot. If you have missed those videos, don't worry, the link is in description. Watch it first and come back here if you have already seen and remember all the terms. Let's get started. Now to place an order, you need to have a DMAT account. You can log into your DMAT account. If you don't have a DMAT account, don't worry. We will help you open it. Just click on the link in the description. Now in our example, I am using Zerodha terminal. So I will give you web based platform of Zerodha trading. Every broker usually provides multiple trading terminals like mobile application, web based platform, exe platforms. You can choose whichever suits you the best. Usually web based platforms are simple and fast. So we will use web based platform of Zerodha called as Kite to place orders. Every client gets a unique client ID and password to login. I will use mine to login here. Now once I log in, I can see my dashboard where all the details and functions are available. Let's explore them one by one. Here in the terminal at the top left, I have indices Nifty and Sensex. We spoke about them in our previous video. So in the live market, you can see Nifty and Sensex is going up and down. Below this, we have our watch list where all the stocks that we want to trade into are listed. On the right hand side, we have headers. In the headers, we have positions. Now positions tells you current intraday trades in equity and f and trades in detail. Currently, I don't have any positions. So that is why it is showing no positions. Next is holdings. Holding shows you trade equity trade that you have taken for delivery. So position says you trade that you have taken for intraday. Whereas if you are taking a trade in delivery in equities, those positions after a day will come from positions into holding section. Now in the watch list, you can add your own favorite stocks. I will delete all the stocks from this and add my own desired stocks to keep tracking them. First one, I say State Bank of India. Now if I want to buy State Bank of India, I will hover my mouse over it and click on B. B stands for buy. Once you click on it, you will see a buy dashboard. Let's discuss this dashboard. Now above you have two options, MIS and CNC. In Zerodha, MIS stands for intraday that is buy and sell within a day and CNC stands for delivery that is buy and keep it for more than one day. If you have to select one, you have to select one. For example, in our example, I am choosing CNC that is delivery trade. Next is quantity section where you decide how many shares to buy. Say I want to buy only one share. So I'll keep quantity as one. Now before we place order, there are few order types like market, limit, SL and SLM. You can see all of them in the dashboard. Now we'll talk about market orders first. If you buy shares at the market price, that is whatever price is available in the market, the orders will be placed instantly. So for State Bank of India, if I place a market order, it will be immediately bought at the next best available price. As soon as I click on buy, you will see order getting completed. Now you can see here the order was completed. Here the order was fulfilled at 183, but the current market price is 182.85 or 182.90. So it, it gave us 10 to 15 paisa above price because when we place market order, it just buys at whatever price seller is selling at. Hence buying at market is always costly one should avoid doing it. Once you complete your order, you can see your open position under position header. You can see here I bought at 183 and LTP is fluctuating and I'm getting profit or loss. Here I bought at 183. 
now it is 183.30 so i am making around 30 paisa profit and this will keep fluctuating similarly let's learn to place limit order the advantage of limit order over market order is that we can decide what price we want to buy or sell shares it is like bargaining in the market say current market price is 183.3 once i click on limit and set my own buy price say i don't want to buy at 183 i want to buy at 180 i can replace 183.3 to 180 and click on buy notice here it says my buy order has been placed but not executed for my order to execute state bank of india price should come down to 180 till then my order will be pending we can check our order status under order header now you can see that my order of state bank of india at 180 is pending since current market price is around 183.5 also below you can see the completed order our market order was completed at 183 its status is complete whereas for the above order the status is open now my order at 180 is placed with exchange and will be visible to other buyers and sellers we can see the buyers and sellers complete detail under the section called market depth to open market depth of a particular script hover your mouse over the script and click on the third icon that is market depth it will show you first five best buyer and seller price in the market depth there are two column one is bid and other is offer bid means at what price buyer wants to buy the shares offer means at what price seller wants to sell the shares in the bid section top five buyers have placed their bid hence our bid of 180 is also there but it is deep down somewhere as other buyers are willing to buy at price better than 180 their order details are visible here our order is not visible because the only first five best order will be visible similarly in the offer side these are the sellers who want to sell the shares currently the best transaction is bid at 183.65 that is buyer wants to buy at 183 rupees 65 paisa offer at 183.80 that is seller wants to sell at 183 rupees 80 paisa so either the buyer will buy at 183.80 or a seller will sell at 183.65 until and unless one of them agrees the transaction will not complete so new buyer can come and buy at that price or new seller can come and give at a cheaper price until and unless the order is matched the trade will not take place you can now see new buyer is willing to buy at 183.80 and new seller now demands 183.85 this way buyer and seller keeps fluctuating the price and hence the actual price also keeps going up and down going back to dashboard i can see how much money i have used to buy shares here it says margin used is 363 because we bought one share at market at 183 rupees and the other is open at 180 so collectively 183 plus 180 i have used 363 rupees we started trading with 5.16k 5.16k as a opening balance we have invested 363 rupees now we have left with 4.79k simple calculations nothing much complex moving a step ahead let's place an intraday order with leverage now i have added maruti share in my watch list and the price per share is 4150.55 i have only 4790 rupees and if i don't use leverage i can only buy one share but if i want to trade intraday my broker will give me leverage say i want to buy maruti i'll click on b again the same buy button here i will select mis and not cnc remember mis stands for intraday so i'll select mis and leverage is valid only for intraday that is why we are using mis and in the quantity section i would select three shares so for three shares to buy the net value is actually 12000 rupees but i have only 4000 but i will be still be able to buy three shares and you can see the order is complete I have bought three shares and I have eight hundred nine rupees still left even after buying three shares. Why? Because as soon as I click MIS, my broker is automatically giving me margin, 
and in 4000 rupees he allowed me to buy three shares of maruti and you can see our limit order of state bank of india is also complete at 180 as prices come down to 180 now you can see all the orders are completed maruti is giving maruti is giving some gain state bank of india is giving 2 rupees loss overall we are making close to 8 rupees and this keeps fluctuating in the product section you can see sbi and has cnc meaning delivery and maruti has mis meaning intraday with leverage so which type of position you have taken you can also cross check in the position section itself now let's create a short position that is we'll sell something first and buy later let's create a short in tata steel i have added it in my watch list now if i want to sell tata steel first that is create short position we know it would be valid only for intraday short positions are only valid for intraday so if i click on cnc and do short position so it will automatically reject the order because cnc means delivery and short position is not valid for delivery now once i have placed at cnc it clearly says that order is rejected because you can place only mis or intraday modes only thus if i place in mis mode again this time the order is placed and order is pending due to limit order if i want to modify my order we can do that any open order can be modified say i change the price from market say i change the uh, price from limit to market now in position i can see that tata steel short has been immediately done and quantity is always in negative for short position so i can see that uh, in position section tata steel is minus 1 minus represents we have shorted it first now if i want to square off an open position i can click that whichever specific position i want to square off i can click on it and i can uh, i can hover my mouse over it i can click on exit and fill in the details and click on sell now here we go we have booked gains for maruti and we have booked a profit of 37 rupees 65 paisa it shows we have made a profit of 37 rupees 65 paisa however in the previous lesson we have learned that brokers and exchange charge brokerage and taxes respectively so how much did we actually make after brokerage and tax to calculate it let's go to brokerage calculator every broker has their own brokerage and their own brokerage calculator zerodha also has its own calculator called as zerodha brokerage calculator So I'll go to Zerodha Brokerage Calculator. Here you can see there are four sections: intraday equity, delivery equity, futures, and options. Since we are doing in intraday equity, I select intraday equity section, and I'll check my order status in the order book and put the prices here. So in the order book, you can see I bought at four one five zero. So I'll put four one five zero here, and I've sold at four one six two. I'll put the same details here, and I bought three shares. So I'll put the three quantity here. so it has automatically done the calculation and it says net gain is 30 rupees 72 paisa as 6 rupees 93 paisa is the tax and brokerage you can see how much brokerage we have paid 2 2 and 1/2 rupees brokerage and other taxes so out of 37 rupees 72 paisa we have made a profit of sorry out of 37 rupees we have made a profit of around 30 rupees as we have paid close to 7 rupees as brokerage now moving ahead let's learn to place bracket order to select uh, to place bracket order we'll select reliance as an example to place bracket order click on buy again you can place a bracket order for long position also as a short position for placing long position i'll again simply click on buy however if you want to place bracket order for short position you can click on sell first so in our example i'm going to show you bracket order in the long position that is buy first and bracket order or cover order both are valid only for intraday so these options will be available only when you click on mis and not on cnc so i'll click on mis and on from mis i'll click on more options in the more option i have bracket order that is bo now bracket order is all in one order it helps you place target and stop loss in a single order Say I want to buy two shares of Reliance at nine one four point five five nine one four point five five, and my target is five rupees up. Say I want to 
सेल एट नाइन वन नाइन पॉइंट फाइव 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 रुपीज टारगेट एंड माई स्टॉप लॉस इज ऑल्सो फाइव रुपीज टू से नाइन जीरो नाइन पॉइंट फाइव फाइव सो हियर इन द टारगेट एंड स्टॉप लॉस सेक्शन आई नीड नॉट मैंशन द स्टॉक प्राइज बट द टारगेट एंड स्टॉप लॉस विल बी इन टर्म्स ऑफ पॉइंट्स इफ माई टारगेट इज फाइव रुपीज I'll say target as five, and if my stop loss is five rupees, I'll say stop loss also as five rupees. Now the best part about bracket order is that if the target is achieved, stop loss will be automatically cancelled, and if stop loss is achieved, target will be automatically cancelled. And when I click on buy, okay, today market is volatile. That is the reason it says bracket orders are disabled. Usually, a broker disables bracket order and cover order when the market is very very volatile. Due to coronavirus outbreak, these days market is very volatile, and usually most of the days. a uh, cover order and bracket order is inactive with most of the brokers they do not allow us to place however when the market will stabilize you will see all the brokers providing you with bracket order and cover order however we will discuss bracket order and cover order also in complete detail in our live webinars when i will be trading live with you guys now similarly let us try to understand cover order the only difference in cover order is that here you can only place a stop loss there is no target for those who want to have a big target or keep the targets open they only want to protect their losses and they only want to keep their stop loss cover order is a solution in cover order you only place a stop loss and target is open so either the stop loss will be triggered or the market will keep going in your favor till the day ends so this is how bracket order and cover order works we are going to discuss all of this in detail in our live webinars now you can access our live webinar through the dashboard thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video subscribe to our channel